hopefully we see some fireworks in this Greco match, and I think we will. You know, Giangelo Hancock, he is a he is a gamer. He, he's a gamer, but he's a showman as yes. well. The guy knows where the camera is. He knows how to get a lock and grip it and rip it. You gotta love Once this again, kid, man. Uh, and yes. by the way, coming off his first senior medal performance at the World Championships, uh, you know, D'Angelo Hancock has Giuseppe been a mainstay for Ray. USA Greco, but he finally and punches through USA. and gets that the world medal this year in Oslo, Norway. Man, awesome performance Dayton. by him. Yeah, D'Angelo Hancock yeah. is a guy that Team USA needs for their Greco on program, yeah. not yeah. only with his Our talent Greco on the map, but also also with his personality, his energy, and he loves the spotlight. He loves Amen. moments like this where he can showcase his Greco-Roman skills. No question, man. And he's a he's a great representative Wrestling of the sport of Greco-Roman wrestling. The 2021 World's Bronze Medalist, please welcome ranked number five in the world, Giangelo Hancock. And there you see Giangelo Hancock making his way to the center circle. You are ready, Matt officials. Let's get it up! First whistle blows, and we are underway. Bout at the ballpark. Angel Hancock starting to dip his head in a little bit. Make contact first with the shoulder. Dave Fix is currently ranked number one at 61 kilograms, 134 pounds in the USA. He wrestles for Titan Mercury Wrestling Club and the Cowboy RTC. Three years ago at the Bill Farrell, Hancock was able to win by fall. He actually had the tech at the time a two-time junior world as well. bronze Tech medalist and, and a 2015 yeah, the cadet world match. bronze medalist. Yeah. See that head go to the outside there a little bit. Watch watch Giangelo's head kind of switch to the from the inside to the outside. Usually when he's digging in for a tie, he'll switch his head. There it is. And more. There's chest-to-chest -chest oh, man, position, he's got a lock. Both of them have a lock. Who's gonna go first? And the space in between goes for G! He went big! He went big! Like I said, we're gonna get fireworks started. Right away, he got a lock and he did not waste any time. There was a little bit of jockey in there for position, but as soon as he felt comfortable, he jumped both feet in, committed, committed to the throw, and went straight over his left shoulder. Awesome stuff there. Jumping out to an 8-0 lead over on Matt. Yeah, and if you're gonna show anybody Greco-Roman wrestling, that's what, you wanna, that's what you wanna show them right there. And Giangelo Hancock's the perfect guy to do it. Just a little drag attempt there from Giangelo Hancock, and underhook, now he's back in that, and he starts moving towards that under over. Hassan does a good job of digging back in. G digging Ladies and gentlemen, and gentlemen winner by technical superiority, Dayton Nice takedown. If you're watching Matt A, you're done watching, so you can come over here to Matt B. <laughs> Yeah, Dayton got his warm up in there Dayton for his, got his uh, warm up in for match. His 133 pound bout. A little later on tonight. On Matt B. Dayton Fix is playing up by a 4 2 score. G gets hold of hands and now I think he's going to want to stay away from that two on with one. The win by Dayton Fix, USA up. You know, Hassan showed some, zero. some serious athleticism, snapping down and spinning behind all at the same time. That's pretty good stuff. Yeah, Hassan, you know, he's not yeah. as. Highly uh, qualified, or you know, hasn't had as many achievements as D'Angelo Hancock, but he's been around the block. He's wrestled sure. at U23 Worlds, wrestled at Senior Worlds, so it's not like this is a major, you know, mismatch. Right. They, and you see a little bit of jockeying for position with the head there now. D'Angelo picking up the pace here with just about 12 seconds left here in the period. Nope, oh, that'll do it for the period. Pardon me. I think our clock, clock was wrong. My fault. was there. Yeah. The break, Sorry about that. I will make sure we look at the corner clock the first. So, so really, and only two scoring action. positions there. We saw. We saw. And you know, after get to those here comes one of those old ones, right? Two. This is the one that he stepped in with both Hancock. legs, stepped around with his right, left foot was planted in the center, and 
catches four on it. That's a creative way to, for Hassan to get out there. Yeah, he went over the top. And like I said, that two on one proved uh, somewhat problematic there for Jandro Hancock. Second period coming at you, four two so far. Now he can give up a takedown and still be leading on criteria. Back to that two on one for Hassan. And G trying to work on the two on one himself. Nice little grab, and he's got it over. Oh, there we go. He goes big on it. They've been five. off the five. Five and is one. confirmed the by ball. the chair. Man, oh man. He got into that one. Yes, he did. He yeah. got all of it on yeah, that one. Yeah, you give up one reversal if you get five off of that throw, huh? Yeah, heck yeah. I'll trade those all day. Yeah. And as we mentioned, Hancock was able to win his first world bronze this past October, as you see the replay on your screen there. And coming off of that, I was able to see him behind the scenes as he came through the tunnel, and he just let out just a... Uh, Man, just a battle cry uh, going to the mix zone. And it's, yeah, it's been a long time coming yeah. for him, man. He's been, a, like I said, a mainstay on the, on the national front. There's a drag by Jandrell Hancock. He's been a, a mainstay on the, the U.S. Greco front, but to break through and catch a world medal, man, it's really good for him. Yep. Digs in, he's got under over again. He's got a lock. I don't know if he's quite as good from that position. And he wants to end this thing on a bang. He's got a six-point lead. He's got a lock, and he's going up and over again. That's that got to be at be least it. two. He four goes four on it. That's a 13 to three. Oh, just two. Nope. 13 two was confirmed. Three, ladies and gentlemen. Nope. They're going 11-3. We have a winner by technical superiority. So either way, that's a technical fall. Giangelo yeah. Hancock. And Hancock. did not disappoint no. the world medalist from this <laughs> year. Grabs a lock, grips it, rips it, lets it go, and now he's going into the back to celebrate. Yeah, and we said he's a guy who likes the spotlight, likes to put on a show, and man, did he ever in that match.